And I don't know how Melbourne dropped those players against Collingwood last week. Dean's gone to full forward, Peter. They've put him to full forward after that. Well, they have to do something as there is Silvani going forward. Kernahan attempting to take the mark. Well played, Graham Yates. There's a Melbourne player down in the oh, centre of the ground. Newport. It's at half forward. We'll pick him up in a moment. I think, I think it might be Love it after that clash. Was it Love? Because he oh, came through rather hard early on and he got the ball and he's certainly risking his body let's hope he's all right well, all the melbourne players are they're going, going in particularly hard there's a good tackle on newport well peter i wonder if they're probably responding to that article that was in the paper last week last monday after the collingwood game they probably, and they've got a point to prove they'd probably love to be playing collingwood today actually oh, don't. wouldn't it be oh, after that when uh, collingwood players apparently insinuated that uh, melbourne are a little bit weak Kicked off the ground by Johnson, grabbed by DeRui. They need a couple of goals quickly, Carlton. Hurt ahead. Oh, look at that. I think Jimmy Stein's could have gone back a bit harder on that occasion. What a good mark, Steve Kernahan. Watch this. Now, Steins will be in front. And look, he could have gone back maybe a little harder. Took his eye off the ball. But nevertheless, a good mark by Kernahan. Oh, great mark. He's going for his fourth goal. He's a champion, this bloke. And love it's all right too back in the center of the ground well the two best marks in the game i would think kernahan and stuart low of st kilda without a doubt no argument steve kernahan normally a pretty accurate kick had a bad day against hawthorne a couple of weeks ago now there's the low trajectory drop punt how will the goal up by see that it's a goal steve kernahan kicks his fourth Carlton sneak closer, 5-4, plays 7-4, two goals to margin. Well, I mentioned he has led the Carlton goal kicking in past years, Kernahan. 1986, I think that was his first year in VFL football. 62 goals, 87, 73, 88, 54, last year 59. And he's picked up the best and fairest last year in 1987. Forty-six to thirty-four as Carlton stream forward again. Kernahan against Steins. Kernahan with four goals and Heaver with three for Melbourne. Glasgow to Madden from the centre. Drop punt. Dean now playing at full forward. Hughes against him. Bassett with a little one off the ground, but it wasn't good enough. And Yates defends to Johnson. Johnson from half back, sweeping handball to stretch, who loves to run and attack. And he does just that. Derui in the front spot takes a comfortable mark. Spalding. Derui. Chance here for Bassett. To Phillips. Who's a good left foot kick. And he kicks it high. Wanting Kernahan and Steins. Steins with him with Kernahan. Chance here for Sartori. The snap is good. Oh, Cameron gets back. Takes the mark. And relieves for Melbourne. Oh, gee, the uh, Melbourne supporters. Hearts in mouths job on that occasion. The bounce favours Phoebe. Phoebe to O'Dwyer, big Justin Madden after him, can he get there? The hoops Slow motion are... replay those two. I can say that again, moving like a glacier he was. As we see Gleeson, Phillips, back to Gleeson, Carlton, oh that was a dangerous hand pass, a bad option that one. Oh, Olympic. Can go. Well, that's Hannah, was held when he didn't have it. So bad, blew that. Melbourne probably would have got possession, now Hannah. A high one. Can Kernahan take another one? He's got a few to beat. Oh, he's too many to beat. Hughes to Lovett. Brett Lovett looking for his options. A beautiful kick too, and he finds Alan Johnson centre of the ground. Oh, gee, that sets it up for Bennett. Bennett up in front has taken the mark. Gee, that wasn't a good kick, was it, Peter? To a full forward, it was like a nine-iron shot out of the rough or in a sand trap. He chipped that high, and Joe David Kernahan. Just couldn't get there. Fortunately for Bennett, he couldn't get there. But nonetheless, he'll score from here, Bennett. We said that earlier yeah, that he kicked it out did. of bounds. But he's kicking from 60. And a booming drop. Pad. It's a long kick. What a great kick. Goal. Eight four. Plays five four. Again, the margin is three goals. Now, for any student of the game, any young boy, have a look at this kicking style by Darren Bennett. Now what's this kicking style? Straight knee, taut in step, and he really does follow through magnificent kicking style. And he does cover a lot of distance with his kicks. And Todd Viney off for Melbourne, and Rod Keogh coming on for his first game on the half-forward flank. 
52 to 34. The Demons lead by three goals in the big clash at the MCG. And I wonder if you get any advice from his uncle, Trevor Keogh, the Carlton runner, as Trevor runs out onto the ground. <laughs> so Madden and O'Dwyer. Two of the big men in the AFL. Madden over the top. Ops with a quick kick. Two half forwards, Silvani and Lyon. They've had an excellent duel. They've both really uh, smothered one another throughout the play. And again, it'll be a ball up. Big clash between Lyon and Silvani today. Lyon playing at centre half forward. Silvani at centre half back. So a hush over the MCG for a moment. Johnson, good tackle by Hannah. Darui. Spalding, who's been good. Tingay, who was good early. Obst, who just paddles it out. Quick Keo, free kick. Free kick to Keo. High tackle. So that's the value of Keo. Now he's not very quick over the ground, but he is very, very quick in his reaction. He gets the ball, and I've watched him in the under 19s and seconds, and he's giving the ball off before guys are there because his reaction, he thinks too quickly. Now, in senior football, I think he will make his mark. First kick in league football. Could be a goal. 19 years of age, wearing a famous number, number 31. And the drop punt is a very good kick. Has it made the distance? No touch. It was straight, but just lacking in legs at the last moment. 8-5 to 5-4. So, what a healthy start for the two new players today. Heaver is kicked three, and Keo comes on and immediately has a little impact as Kernahan brings it back in. The half-back line... Well, Melbourne again, Newport has had a free kick to Carlton from the back. Umpires have hardly missed a trick today. And this is Blackwell. And they've been under pressure in recent weeks in the press. Well, to half back off, Phoebe reads that. Well, he's playing well, Stephen Phoebe. The short one is on to centre wing now to the carry. It did to Johnson. Johnson immediately swings onto that right foot and kicks a long one to half forward. Lyon, backup support from Spalding. He's hot Spalding, isn't he? Oh, the, how they, well, I said it, said it a couple of times, they should never drop him for the Collingwood game, that big game last week. No, well, listen, he's got, as I mentioned before, he's got just tremendous courage and uh, he runs himself with the flight of the ball as he did on that occasion and can turn the body and take a very good overhead mark. Well, he's kicked one. I wonder if we could back him this time from 45 metres. He's put it up. Did it sneak in for a goal? Yes, it did. Earl Spalding kicks his second. Melbourne stretched the lead. 9-5, plays 5-4. Yes, well, they're doing well, Melbourne. The danger signs are there for them, though, because of the fact that Carlton haven't got that many players playing well. Now all Carlton have to do is just a concerted effort to lift and Melbourne could be in trouble. Now they've got to hammer home the ascendancy they've got at the moment, Melbourne. Melbourne by 25 points. 9-5 to 5-4. Free kick to Johnson. So in the closing minutes of the first half, Melbourne has been able to stretch this lead to a very, very handy one. And a goal before half-time would be a disaster for Carlton. Tingay attacks the goal front. Kernahan getting back with Bennett. And it'll be a throw-in with Melbourne deep in attack. David Kernahan has got the job on Bennett. Seconds ticking away. And Carlton will just have to defend here and go in and regroup. Throw-in. Mackenzie sporting at the back. Or Keo with a chance left foot. All clear. Goal. The recommence and Melbourne leads 65 to 34. The Demons going to the left of the screen. Almost a full house at the MCG on a perfect day for football. Madden's handball to McKenzie and that might be his first touch today. Bradley's left foot. 11th kick for him. Dean who's up on the forward line again. High kick by Carl. Not really going anywhere. It'll be play on. Derui. First couple of goals important for the Blues. Lovett takes the mark at centre-half back. Now Hawker's in the back line and Darui now on the ball. I'll try and pick up other Carlton moves. Oh, cleverly done. That was brilliant play by Ops to Stretch. His danger for Carlton because Stretch has got Madden chasing him. Stretch with a hand pass to Lyon. 25 metres out, Gary Lyon. Pings away a goal. It's a 
gets a great goal straight out in the half time break. Well, that was beautiful play, starting from off. Melbourne move on to 11 5, Carlton 5 4, exactly what Carlton did not want. Exactly right, Peter, exactly the way that Melbourne wanted to start. Set off by Stretch, with Madden desperate in trying to catch him, lying by himself. And Fodia on the half forward flank, Phillips in the forward pocket. They've still got Bradley on the ball, Carlton. Darui in there as well. 71 to 34. Suddenly, Melbourne has taken a huge grip on this game. Kernahan outmarked by Steins. He's kicked four Kernahan. Steins quickly plays on. And thumps it back to centre half forward. Hannah at the back. Over Johnson. Hannah handles wide. Rennitz. Left foot. Has Phillips on the lead slips over and it'll be a throw in at half forward. Blackwell now in the back pocket on Heaver. Phillips with 12 kicks and four handballs. Was a busy player in the first half but generally Carlton outrove, Mailey and Gleeson both a bit quiet. Again it'll be a throw in. Melbourne gaining about uh, 15 or 20 metres. A real battle here for the Blues. A lot of talk this year about the character of Carlton. They bounced back and won a string of games before losing to Richmond last week, but this will really test them now. Quick kick by Darui to half forward. Steins misses this one. Lovett, who's been very, very good today. Right up to his very best form. Phoebe to half forward. Heaver out of position this once, and Blackwell takes the mark. Well, there's definitely not enough support for Kernahan up on that half forward line by those Carlton little men. Oh, there's Bassett gets a bad bounce. Got Fotia to lend a hand. He kicks it out on the ground to Bassett. Bassett will try and get onto the left foot, I'd imagine. He does. And then elects to kick long. Kernahan again battling against Steins. It goes to ground. Danny Hughes all ridden hard. And eventually it's forced over the that's line. Better, better play by Hughes. Early in the first quarter he was fumbling, but that's the more solid Danny Hughes we're accustomed to. Bouncing off a tackle or a bump and then putting it over the boundary Huge line. Huge task here for Carlton. There's a quick kick by Dean now playing up on the forward line, but two on one here against Kernahan. That's Cameron wide looking for Tingay. It sits for him. Now it should bounce up. No, he gets a bad bounce in fact. Tingay, that's the tackle. That was good play, Stephen Tingay. Beautiful football. Over to Alan Johnson. A bounce. Kernahan chasing him. Johnson to the pocket. Bennett has it punched away. Here's a chance for Keogh. Keogh for his second goal of the game on the left foot. That's a goal. It's another brilliant goal to the youngster. Well, they're on fire, Melbourne. They pick their 12-5. Plays 5-4. Big task now for the Blues. I saw this young guy playing the night games last year, Rod Keogh, and I nominated him as the recruit of the year. He had stress fractures in the feet last year and just could not go on with it. And he's played under-19s as well this year, as well as seconds football, and it's a great effort. Well, the Demons have kicked the last five goals in the game, and they lead by seven. For the moment, it's one-way traffic, and Obst, who's done some important things today, from the centre, takes a free kick. Looking for line at half-forward. Bassett got rid of it in a hurry. Kernahan cleverly to Blackwell. All good play by Stretch. He set the first goal up after half-time for line, and now from 50 metres, kicks to the goal square. Body against body, Melbourne goal, surely. Johnson, easy as a lot. 13-5 to 5-4. And Melbourne doing it easy. The thing I'm sitting here wondering is how much mental preparation is required for football. A lot, in my opinion. And Melbourne, you couldn't believe it. It is the same side. You can be physically matched with the opposition, but it's a thing between your ears that really does count as to how much you really do want to win. And Melbourne want to win today. Different side. Well, I think they've been stung into action, Melbourne, by the importance of the game and by criticism in the press about being a bit physically weak. We said it early in the match. It's in the press over here in Melbourne. But they certainly tore it after the ball today. That's O'Dwyer. Up to Bennett, who tries to punch it on. Good mark to Silvani. 
on to Blackwall. Blackwall wide, Fotier against Phoebe. Phoebe's been excellent. And he gets away with ease on the left foot and puts it out of bounds on the full. Penalty kick to be taken by Adrian Bassett. 13-5 to 5-4 and it'd take a miracle for Carlton to get up from here. Wayne Blackwell not too good behind play either. Bassett, Kernahan underneath it, but four Melbourne players opposed to him, Steins, O'Dwyer, Hughes and Phoebe. So pretty tough to take a mark. Peter Dean going to the back line. So he's been up and down Dean today. And Hawker going to the forward line, Dean going on to Keo. Gleeson with a quick kick. Hughes takes a chance. Steins, Fodia. Still with Fodia, Steins and Kernahan. And it'll be a ball up. Well, Carlton, I said they needed the first goal after half time. Melbourne's kicked three. So if John Northey, with the phone up against his ear, would be pretty happy with the way things are going at the moment. They've lost some ground in the last couple of weeks, but they're making it up in a hurry today. Obst again doing the hard work to love it. Good skills here by Flintoff to take it with one hand. Left foot to centre wing. Spalding and also Blackwell. And it'll be a throw in. So everything going right at the moment for the Demons. And uh, they're making Carlton look slow and a bit top heavy. Well, the point is they're in front, Peter. They're winning the ball. And you always look like that when you're coming second. Stretch off the ground. Here's Danger. Lyon brilliantly. Oh, gee, that was good play to Newport. Here's Heaver. He's kicked three. Is this his fourth? Brent Heaver, 14-5 Melbourne, Carlton 5-4. Well, if we can get this on replay. Now, he really didn't look at the ball, but what a great pick-up by Lyon. Newport, he's under a lot of pressure here, Heaver, and he just more or less put it onto his boot, and it curled left to right. His fourth. 14-5 to 5-4. You wouldn't read about it after the first quarter was so competitive. Lion to stretch. Bennett on a lead. Dean takes the mark. Well, what can Carlton do? They're shell-shocked. There's no question about that. Bassett. They're having to go wide for their kicks. Bassett just pops one up, hoping. Madden, three Melbourne players against him. Take your pick this time, Steins, who took the chance away from Kernahan. Well, they're undermanned everywhere at the moment, Carlton. Steins to half forward. Spalding tries a one-hander. Blackwell with a quick kick. Stretch, who's been quite sensational in the opening minutes of the second half, takes a mark. Where are his options? Thumps it with a long one. Bennett coming in late. Lyon, snap. Behind. So it's 14-6. A kick four straight, Melbourne. In fact, they'd kick six goals straight since their last behind. So that's how well they've been playing. 14-6 to 5-4. Class by Lyon then to... Although he only kicked the behind, he got that ball under his boot very, very quickly. Sign of a good player. There's Hannah to the half-back line. Spalding oh, outmarked that time by Dean. Dean onto Rennitz. Rennitz wide, looking for Derui against Danny Hughes. Hughes taps it to the ground. It's good play. Newport back to Danny Hughes. A high float up to the half-forward line. They wait underneath it. McKenzie taps it down, taken by Keogh, but it might be a Carlton free, yeah, free kick in. Uh, Peter, on that occasion, I think it was Alan Johnson who stayed down, really didn't have eyes for the ball. And Hannah. the umpires are now instructed to pick up the guy who's not going to the ball and reward the free kick against him. Hannah, the centre wing. Oh, they need some of those little men to start firing. Here's one of them, Gleeson, who's been fairly quiet since early in the game. Satori. How the umpire see that one? It's play on. Fodia in after it, grabbed by Yates. Nearly a chance on the left foot. Hooks it back at goal. Stretch. I think it's a goal to Carlton. And picking himself up. But Carlton had to handball around amongst themselves because no one was running the spaces a moment ago. There's Dean or Danger. Grabbed by Hannah. Hannah straight up in the air to the half back line. Kernahan is there. Punched by Steins, a 30 metre punch. Who will it favour? De Rui, a quick kick, lands with Hawker. Now look at this again. There's plenty There's... of space. He can kick it long, Peter. They can run onto it. But he hit the weight. There's no one on the muck. Now he kicks long. Foti is the only man there, and he's only a little fella. 
Here's a chance, Kernahan looking very tired. Shuffles it out to Bassett. Bassett not sure where to go. Now he'll find Foti. He's got loose man everywhere. He could have given it to Gleeson. Over the back. Here's a chance for Naley. An open goal. Goal to the Blues. That's his third. Well, maybe that'll lift them. They're within distance. 8-8, eight, eight, plays 14-6. Well, they're 24, 34 points behind. And a very slow build-up. I thought that they should have gone quicker. Hawker, when he got the free kick, put it up. Bassett, really nowhere to go. Gleeson could have brought it around in the centre, but a good play there by Naley to finish off his third. Well, they trail by a long way, Carlton, but they've had the last seven scoring shots of the match. They've kicked 3-4 after that avalanche from Melbourne at the start of the quarter. So if they can get another one, who knows? Heaver's handball wide. Obster's been magnificent, I reckon, today to Glenn Lovett. To Spalding, who could score from here. The drop punt, not good. He really should have done better. He had a lot of time. Glenn Lovett's now picking up Craig Bradley. So as I say, Carlton are chipping away. They've had seven shots without reply. And whilst they trail by 34 points at the moment, they're just starting to get on top. Silvani. <laughs> What a great clash that is. Sylvani and Lyon, two of the young champions of the game. Phoebe has been terrific. There's Rennett's brought to ground. In went Hawker, trying to shuffle it out. And they could do with a couple of quick ones before three-quarter time. They've got just under four minutes of play in which to do it. But they have picked up their game. Bradley being picked up, as Don said, by Glenn Lovett. Steins has had a good quarter. Oh, well done. Beautiful play, Fotia. And then he hooks it back to the pocket. But sheer desperation got him, that ball. Half forward for Carlton. It'll be a throw-in. There's Dominic Fotia. He's done all right since he's come on. He's had six kicks. Hasn't quite had the impact of uh, Brent Heaver for Melbourne because he hasn't kicked a goal. But he's won a couple of important kicks in the last five minutes. Satori in the front. O'Dwyer did it comfortably to Phoebe. Hamble was very good to love it. Left foot to centre wing, Spalding and McKenzie Silvani and Lyon Silvani, very good play Derui to centre half forward Kernahan still with Kernahan still Kernahan to Hawker to Gleeson, high one Naley versus Yates Hughes getting back Naley, Fodia and Yates still Fodia and Yates the ball still to be won and in the end I reckon Carlton did pretty well to hold it there so, 90 to 56, and Peter, a goal here would really raise their hopes. Well, they'll give them some chance if they can get within uh, five. Well, they'll be back to square one at half time, wouldn't they? Well, here's a chance. Naley, for goal number four, has hooked it and has missed. But as you said earlier, Bruce, they've had most of the scoring shots in the past 10 minutes. See the time clock ticking down. Two minutes and 17 seconds of play left before three-quarter time. Danny Hughes started off on the ball. The drop punt to the half-back line. Not much tall timber there for Carlton. That was Spalding, the hand pass. Bradley trying to grab it. He does. Well done to McKenzie. The short chip pass to Rui. Should kick it quickly. He does. The bounce. Which way will it go? It will favours Carlton. Tipped on the Daly. Daly an open goal. Plays 14-6. Well, Naley has been very, very good up in that uh, forward pocket, especially in this the third quarter. He's kicked three goals. In actual fact, in this third quarter, he's kicked three goals, one for the game, 4-1. He kicked his first goal in the first quarter. It's a good effort by the forward pocket rover. Well, a real MCG roar now. 90 to 63. Carlton's had the last nine scoring shots. They've kicked four or five without reply from Melbourne. They've still got a lot of work to do, but suddenly a game that looked lost. They've got some hope. Hannah from half back. They've got to maintain their poise now and hold Melbourne out at least till three quarter time. Well, this Bradley. is noticeable, Bruce, that Melbourne were taking it easy early in this third quarter. They've got to maintain pressure. Bradley to half forward. Kernahan almost. Fodia tries to crash through, caught, gets it out to Bassett, Gleeson, 
Bassett, free kick. Free kick. Free well, kick to Bassett. We well, played on and kicked a goal. It's got to come back. Well, the ball's starting to run for Carlton now. Melbourne is starting to run second. You can see that free kick by Lovett. So, let's... Watch this on replay. Here's the ball. Free. Steins, oh, I'm sorry, it was Steins over the top of Bassett. Well, Adrian Bassett has kicked three goals in his league career. He's had a quiet day with four kicks and eight handballs. But you'll hear a mighty roar if he can kick this one. He's 40 metres out. The drop punt. It's a good kick. Has it snuck in? I think it has. And there's the Carlton roar. 10-9 to 14-6. Against Coach Bywell, they pushed and shoved and he won out. Satori over the top that Leeson will it sit for him. He's got it, the little rover, he hooks it back in front of goal. Hits the deck. Alan Johnson's there to tap it over the line. Those players playing in a bit of duress here. You can see the sun right in the goal square right. and they're looking directly into the sun. And you can see the hands of some of the guys up shielding the sun from yes, their eyes. They're facing the west. Here's oh. Naley going towards goal. Is that a free kick? No, the umpire calls play on as it's grabbed by Alan Johnson on the left foot out wide. A one-on-one -on -one contest, but I think it'll be... Oh, no, Rennitz keeps it in play. That was good football to Gleeson. Gleeson went for the hand pass. Melbourne, good pressure. Taken away by Alan Johnson with his experience. Kicks it long to the centre of the ground. Hannah from behind went for the mark. He should have punched. Grabbed by Keogh off the side of the boot. A chance for players to fly. Over the back is Blackwell. He sits and waits for it. He's collared from all angles and the umpire's given Blackwell a free kick. It's interesting on that occasion, young Heaver ran away from the action, hoping the ball had come over. Early in the first quarter, he was running to the action. Blackwell from half-back. Gleeson on a lead, Obst with him. Obst has had eight kicks and six handballs, but has done a lot of the hard work. Drop punt, back to half forward, Blackwell front spot. No free kick this time. Melbourne try to keep it there. Dean just over the top. McKenzie, still no score in this final turn. Kernahan and Steins, Bradley swoops on it. He's got wonderful skills. Left foot to full forward, Satori. Stretch at the back. Hughes, still with Hughes, love it. Lovely handball to O'Dwyer. Stretch. Off the ground. Bennett. Hannah. Should have gone a bit harder there, Darren Bennett. He had Millam Hannah all set up. In other words, you're saying he should have run straight through right him. Right through him and put him in the grandstand. <laughs> well, he attacked uh, it pretty hard, Don, but uh, if you say so. <laughs> There'll be a few mothers watching who wouldn't like their sons in that position, I wouldn't think, as it's kicked away by Darui. Out wide the centre wing. Will it sit for Hannah? I think it will. Yes, he can give a hand pass to Bassett. He does. Bassett should kick long. Kick it down to Kernahan. He goes the short one to Kernahan instead. Now, Steve Kernahan, where's the lead? The lead is to the pocket. Satori caught behind. Taps it down. That was good play. A chance for Naley. Goal to Carlton. Five goals left. Naley. Well, are we going to see a boil over? Five goals to Naley. Carlton take this score into 11-9. Well, there's a couple of instances I remarked earlier about the momentum going, starting to go Carlton's way. Melbourne will really start to have to regroup and get back to what they were doing earlier. Some of the guys running away from the action, not putting themselves in. 90 to 75. Melbourne has kicked the last six goals, five, or rather Carlton has kicked the last six goals, five of the game. They still trail. Hughes got a free kick and he's going to have to take it now. It's better that he send it long because Luke Hughes is a thumping kick of the ball. Well, Melbourne hasn't goaled since the nine-minute mark of the third quarter. Do they want one now? Oh, Bennett, Bennett takes off. Glenn Lovett. It was smothered. Lyon cleverly. Heaver. Will he kick his fifth? I think he did. Well, the 18-year-old steadies the knees as they lead 15-6 to 11-9. That's good play by Young Heaver. That's a steadier that Melbourne White might want, but they don't want to steady down because there's still a long way to go in this game. There's 18 minutes and a lot can happen in that time. He ran away from the action earlier when it came. He's got to run to where the action is, and he did on that occasion, and his fifth goal. It's a great effort. Great play by Lyon. That tap down to 
for Heber, resulted in that goal. Back to the centre. Madden has been terrific to ruck all day. Hunched away by Hughes. There's Silvani. Waits for it. Good play by McKenzie, trying to put pressure on. There's Lyon. It comes to Phillips. It's not over yet as Carlton go forward. Kernahan, a brilliant mark by Kernahan. That's class. And Hawkins on his own. He should get it to him quickly. Yes, he's found him. 40 metres out, directly in front, and is a good kicker before. And there's a fight in the goal square between Cameron and Satori. Well, and they're wrestling on the right on the point of the uh, goal square as Hawker lines up. An umpire ignoring it, just watching the game. Uh, players will get on with it. Hawker, can he reply to Young Heaver's goal? Hawker, a high floater. It's missed. A bad kick. He kicked that far too high. He just tried to guide that one. David Flint off an injury. What's the problem, Michael Roberts? Yes, uh, he took himself off the ground. Yates came on. And they've been working on his vertebrae, on his spine, with referred pain down to the hamstrings. Free kick, uh, Michael, against Kernahan, going to Cameron. A.S. Hughes was about to kick the ball in. Ooh, G. Oh, Kernahan hit the shoulder, gets away with it. Phillips over the top, Carlton going again. Hawker to the goal square. Kernahan outnumbered. Almost takes a great mark. Police it off the ground. Is it a goal? No touch. Oh, rush. rush through. I thought Kernahan was going to mark that. Well, he's about the only man in the AFL that had a chance in that situation. 15, 6, 11, 11. 22 shots to 21. Kernahan all fired up. And 59,782 people are loving this contest as Obbs takes the run. The kick. The centre wing, Bassett, a good mark. He is very... He should have gone on that occasion, Peter. He was waiting for the crumbs. He was starting to run off. Well, oh, dangerous kick, but it's come off to Derui. Derui, that's good football to get on with the game. He's looking for Kernahan again at the back. Grabbed off the pack by Phoebe. They're defending desperately, Melbourne. Silvani flies. Lions in there too, and Spalding. They're trying to get it out, the Melbourne players. Now Silvani brilliantly to Bassett. Kick it long, he should. He should go, oh, he's gone for the handball. Or did he go too far? He should have got it and kicked it long in a situation like that. He's run too far, bad play. Just watching Stephen Stretch on that occasion. He's running on the outside of the action. He's got to get in there and put some pressure because Bassett is his man. Hughes receives from Lovett. Gee, that was a bad mistake. But there's uh, Hughes going too hard forward. Two Carlton players. Dean and Silvani when the pressure on are very, very good. Well, the Blues had no options early in this uh, second half, but they've got them left, right and centre all of a sudden. Hawke has got Daruri very short if he wants him. Goes long. Kernahan's the target. And he takes it. Steins has got to get in front. He was better when he was in front. It was a contest. Oh, he's a champion, Kernahan. He sure is a champion. And this is the mark of the captain who's taken nine marks today and kicked four goals. And I'll put the pressure on him. If anybody in the Carlton side was kicking from this position at such a crucial time, you would want this man, number four, to have the ball in his hand and faced with the responsibility. And the drop punt, he's missed it. So we've really oh. put the mocker on him. A bad miss, so with Bassett, Kernahan and Hawker, three mistakes in a row. Carlton could have been a bit closer. Well, they only trail by three goals. There's time. Beautiful kick by Hughes. Kernahan again. Ah, oh, tenth mark. Tenth mark. Steve Kernahan. Now he's getting on with it. Satori. Mark. 40 metres out directly in front. If he kicks this, they will trail by two goals with the time clock showing just under 40 minutes of play. And the run, very hard to cut off unless the Ruckman gets back. Peter Satori for his second goal. It floats. It's a goal. Two goals the margin. Well, 15-6 Melbourne. Can they hang on? Carlton 12-12 coming home hard. O'Dwyer, all the little men starting to come into it. Hannah receives from Gleeson, the long kick to the half-forward line. Gary Lyon gets a bad bounce. Well, well done, Lyon, to trap that ball because it was going past a bad bounce and a great effort. And little Fodia, too, a good effort to put himself in there and trap that ball at the bounce. 
Well, if Carlton get a goal here, it's going to be on. Two goals the margin. Let's see what can happen. Steins, Kernahan, Hawker. The kick is by Tingay. Comes to Bradley, who's been excellent since half time. Grabbed by Fotia. Back to Bradley. Bradley round the corner, a high floater. Two on one. Two Melbourne, one Carlton, and Melbourne went out. Marked to Brett Lovett. Oh, there's a free kick. It's a oh, chance. A push out to Phillips. Well, thanks, Keo. Well, well, that could be that could be vital. Let's have a look. No, he said around the neck. Around the, neck. There, the left arm of Keo. Well, here's, here's Phillips at the 50 metre line on the left foot. The long driving drop punt. It's coming a little bit wide. But it could be a vital point uh, in the long run. They now trail only by 11 points, the Blues, and coming home hard. 96 to 85. Hughes goes short to Lyon. Bassett going to try and run him down. Lyon with a quick kick, defender's oh. kick. And he'll get away with it. Well, the umpire thought about play. it. That was good play by uh, Lyon. Well, Don, Melbourne's had one scoring shot in about 40 minutes. And it's Lovett coming off Newport back on to pick up Bradley. That's a good move. Madden in the front spot, but Stretch able to take it. High one. Not a good kick for his forwards. Dean at the back. Hannah, who's been very good. An excellent oh, tackle by Yates. Good tackle on Melbourne to Viney to Dean. Dean with a defender's kick to Bassett. It should sit. It does. Bassett gives it to Blackwell. Some experience here to Hawker. Hawker to full forward. Kernahan. Yes, what a mark. <laughs> Sensational. Oh, that is great stuff. Well, Don Scott mentioned yesterday about the hair standing on the back of your head. What about that one? Well, the wheels look like they might be starting to fall off for Melbourne. 11 points of difference. Well, we said it five minutes ago, Don. You'd want this man kicking for your life. But he kicked a point last time, Bruce. And he did. And let's see if he can make amends. Will he put Carlton within five points, the captain? From 45 metres. And he's missed it, I think. Or uh, let's see. Point. Well, he's oh. missed two. You wouldn't read about it. Gee, that would have lifted them. 15, 6 to 12, 14, but it is a thrilling finish just the same. 10 points the margin, Carlton with the momentum, Melbourne stopping. Madden at the back, punches at the ground, Hawker. Free kick to Hawker, too high. So thin, just little things going Carlton's and way. Doing a lot of moves, Stein's now on the ball, and O'Dwyer's gone into the forward pocket for Melbourne, and there's the free kick. Oh, yes, no Cameron doubt. against Hawker. Short one on Darui. 40 metres out, a high kick. Will it drop short? Another behind comes up to Carlton, so they're peppering the goals. Well, if you work on percentages, it's got to go Carlton's way eventually. That's their 15 point, 27 scoring shots to 21. Well, they're bombarding the goal, the Blues. Hughes has kicked to half back. It was touched before it went out. Very lucky to be touched, too. Well, Melbourne look a bit rattled, Don. Well, they are, Bruce, and uh, they really haven't got their act together for a quarter and a half now. The players started to relax, and you can't afford to do that in modern football. Sartori wins the tap. Bradley caught. Justin Madden gets a kick away to centre half forward. Hughes underneath it, and he takes a good mark. Quickly plays on with a sweeping handball to Johnson. And maybe Melbourne can set it up here. Second bounce. Three. High kick to centre half forward. Silvani in the best spot. Couldn't take it. Viney's handball. Newport, not Newport, Heaver. Heaver to Spalding. Spalding's kick has missed. And a behind. 15 7 to 12 15. Earl Spalding, who's kicked two goals, three. Well, that's still four. Oh, no. I really need uh, two shots. Ten points in it, Don. So still two kicks as Kernahan to bring it back in. A very nervous John Northey on the phone. David Kernahan to the half-back line. Justin Madden, Earl Spaulding. It hits the deck. Peter Dean has got the run. Dean the long kick to half forward. Gleeson in front. Punched over the top. Here's Naley. It sits for him. Naley trying to get onto the left foot. Hooks it back towards the half forward line. The mark has been taken by Brett Lovett. Melbourne players just not manning up. They're giving a little bit too much latitude to all Carlton players. Lovett shoots it across to Steins at half back. Oh, Steins. Steins. Around Steins. Now Steins now going for the long kick. That's better. 
And that's a free kick to Melbourne. Should have been against Blackwell. Suck it up the ground. Free kick to free Silvani kick. for hell. Silvani going on with the job. Great play, Silvani under pressure. Should have been a free to Melbourne, though, a moment ago. Inside to Phillips. Phillips to Hawker. Hawker the chip pass. Who is it? Curnahan. Oh, boy. I'm not going to say anything now. Bruce McAvaney, keep your mouth shut. I know he's a South Australian, but... Uh, the chip pass to Kernahan, he's got to eventually kick one, but he's kicked fourth of the day. Well, wow, what a comeback this by Carlton, full marks to, to make this such an exciting game. Just under seven minutes of play left. Kernahan for his fifth. From 46 metres, oh, shocker. A bad one, out of bounds on the ball. South Australian Bruce, and they do crumble under pressure. Oh, not this fellow, but he's missed three today that you wouldn't read about. That is a poor kick, though, by all in the last quarter, too. Well, they're just hanging on Melbourne at the moment. I wonder if they can do it. It's a love it to the half-back line. A pack of players will fly for this mark. It's over the back. Bradley's been great. To the half or like Curnahan. Was he held? It's a mark. He's too big. Oh, he is a dead set star. Curnahan, he is killing him. He's not doing it on the scoreboard. Not capitalising. 13 marks today. He's well, just too big. I would have left Steins there and told Steins to get in front of him because Steins did it in the second and third quarter and started to limit Kernahan. Well, this, he must kick one eventually, surely. They're on 12-15, Carlton. They lead by 10 points. This would make it four. The kick by Steve Kernahan. He's kicked it. Four points the margin. The Blues are coming at Melbourne. And of the season for these two clubs, 97 to 93, and this could be the most damaging defeat for Melbourne for years if they don't win this. They led by 55 points at one stage. Love it with a quick kick. There's less than a goal in it. It's 97 to 93. Magic smother by Phillips in the centre, and good play by Love it. Rennett's the half forward. Gleeson out of position. Kernahan. Great play. Love it. He really only went with one hand. He should have gone with two then, but he's hurt himself, and also Lyons down. O'Dwyer at full forward for Melbourne and Bennett's come out the centre half forward, 97 to 93. They led by 55 points. Steins caught and gone. Naley weaves his way through and caught. And it'll be a ball up. Well, the umpiring's been consistent, hasn't it? Oh, the umpiring's been outstanding today. John Russell and Peter Kerry, they've let it go and only played the fair dinkum free kicks. Four points in it. Ops not happy. Well, Ops should be picking a man up. He's there by himself, hands on hips. Satori and Steins. Steins wins it. Newport's quick kick. Rennets. Still Rennets. Caught. Satori off the ground, off Bradley. Johnson. These are the desperate last minutes of a wonderful match. And no, yes, the mark pay. It'll go back. And it'll go back to McKenzie. Hawk at the back, Steins. Quick handball to the Ooh. safety of the boundary Just line. Just over four minutes remaining. There's still a chance, a big chance for Carlton. Well, Carlton trailed by four points. There's the time clock, just under four. Madden has rucked all day in a great effort. Hawker, cleverly looking for Fotia. And towards the boundary line went Ellen Johnson. Well, what about that goal on the siren now in the second quarter when Keogh well, kicked it? Well, that was doubtful. That was doubtful. Yes, he did. He scored it certainly after the siren. There's Bradley, who has really lifted Carlton. Since he came into the game... Half-time. Since half-time, it's made an enormous difference to the Blues. Satori against O'Dwyer. Madden over the top. Here's Naley. Oh, he got one in the, uh, in the uh, mid-riff. Here's a chance for Steins. Steins the long one. Brackwell caught behind. Punches disciplined play. Blackwell. Oh, good play, Carlton. The tap out finds Hannah. He can run. Shepparding going on behind. That's good tracing by Bennett as long as he keeps at it. Hannah nearly caught. Oh, he went a little bit too far. On to Kernahan. Kernahan the long kick. Hawker in front. Mainly caught one. He's still down behind the play. Tapped on by Hughes and deliberately to the line. But the umpire will certainly let that go. Oh, Brett Lovett, he's got to do up his lace. He's doing up his lace when he should have a man. Well, less than three minutes remaining. Huge crowd at the MCG, and they're loving every moment of it. Viney with a free kick. Yeah, the umpire's picked that, Helen, and it's play on. 
So Viney thumps it towards full forward. Sporting at the back. Chance for Melbourne. Heaver, who's kicked five. Yates spins around. Left foot is a good one. Oh. It could bounce through. It will not bounce through. And it should be rushed over, and it is by Renitz. 15 8 to 13 15, and the margin is five points. Well, well Hannah's by himself out here on centre wing, signalling for the ball. David, and he's also got Derui. I think Derui. Oh, stretch comes across. Good play, Derui. Put his body in. Chance for Melbourne. Grabbed by Keo. An open goal. The long kick on the left foot. Will it bounce oh. through? No. Oh, just misses. That was a good effort by Stretch because they were outnumbered then Melbourne. Three to one. You can see Stretch in the hands of the trainers. Will we have a draw? A goal the difference. The short one is on. Rennets. Handball over the top, they've got the loose man, McKenzie. McKenzie elects to kick long. That's good play at this stage of the game. Satori, back up support from Hall. Oh, well done, Hughes. Great play, Denny Hughes. Trying to shuffle it out. The brilliant Bradley. Taps it on, was held. He Kicks was it. held. He was held a free kick to Craig Bradley on centre wing. You can't do those type of things what Newport did on that occasion in a critical situation. The ball's the object. Less than a minute and a half to go. High one by Bradley. Oh, missed by Hawker. Drop by Stein. Stein. Satori's handball to Naley. Can't get rid of it. Phillips ducks his head. Melvin do well. Stretch gets it. Just over a minute to go. Important mark coming up. Viney against Hannah. Hannah against Viney. Hannah wins it. Left foot. Will Carlton take a mark. Kernahan at the back. Couldn't do it this time. Hughes' handball and a throw in. 49 seconds. Well, what a finish. Melbourne have got to thump this back to the boundary line. He's got to set him up. Come over the back on this occasion. Madden and O'Dwyer. No free kick coming up. Bassett off the ground. Melbourne over the top. Obbs misses it. Fodia looks for a free kick. Tries to put it through his legs. And again, it'll be a ball up. 27 seconds. Well, one goal the difference. The D's led by 55 points, Melbourne, at one stage in this match in the third quarter. The time ticking away. Carlton have got to grab it and kick a goal. Love it off the That's ground. That's good play. Viney, and Viney should be able to save it. There's nine seconds remaining. A good kick, and Melbourne is going to win. The Demons are in it. 15-9 to 13-15. Here goes the siren. Incredible. Melbourne led by 31 points at half time and by more than nine goals in the third quarter and hung on to win it by one kick. 15 9 99.